Hiya, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug haul. This one is not an unboxing because half of it came from Amazon in multiple different orders, and the other half came from lug, but the box was all torn up, so I tore into it right away to make sure everything was okay. The good news is everything is okay. But let's dive right in. So the first thing I got is my very first jib, and I got this in Flamingo Black. And I got it because, you know, I did the travel set all in Flamingo Black. And so if you didn't see that, I'll put the link here. But um, yeah, I just decided that, you know, I might need a little something to store things or to match that up. Um, and Jib's just a catch-all anything type little item. And inside is that um, pink foulard. So nice bright pink. But it's plastic interior. I had hesitated on this item, just for the record, because regardless of the pattern, but the item itself, the jib, because I have so many Vera bags that can do the same thing and even are pretty much the same size. But then I decided, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna complete my travel set thing, and there you go. More than you needed to know, but there it is. Um, and along with it, I got the transports because I have fallen in love with envelopes and pouches like of that nature so the flamingo black ones are a perfect addition because then you can have your small stuff and it's perfect for your carry-on you know you got like your um your cords in one your plugs you got one for all your travel documents you got you know your gum and mints whatever anyway you get the idea so i'm going to use those that'll be fun and I like these ones specifically because you get the pattern with it, not just the pop along the bottom on the clear, but you also get that second pocket on the back. And just curious, the back pocket, oh, okay, well, I got another thank you card. But the inside is not pink, which actually kind of disappointing because that's what you always get with the flamingos. You get a hot pink. No, you get a boring gray. Eh, okay, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so I ordered these on Amazon as well. These are the same, the transport envelopes, and these are in Heather Gray. But I ordered these a while back and they went out of stock or whatever, they didn't get them in stock, so they actually canceled the order. And then they showed up again for the same price. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I got my gray envelopes, so I'm happy. Yeah, so. Same idea, there are, they're the Heather Gray material though, which I love, and I have so many pieces in Heather Gray that it just made sense that I had the, the pouches to match. Um, and I don't have to settle for just the gray pouches, the pearl gray, which is nice, but you know, not the same. And this has the exact same interior as the Flamingo does, so it's not, it's not patterned at all. But there you go. All right. Hi, Kelly. You want up? Okay, come on. Yeah? <laughs> she wants to say hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay. She wants to go in the, the pool. I can't say the S-W-I-M word because she knows what it means. And then she'll be all crazy want to go. All right. The last item from Amazon that I got is my third <laughs> mini Orbit. I really, I do, I love these little bag. It's, it's great for a little purse backpack. Um, it holds just the right amount of stuff with room to spare. But, but it's not like an everyday bag for me because... I tend to like to carry around a lot more crap, but it's perfect for just the basics. You got this pocket on the front, which is, you know, it has its own little gusset there. So you do have a little bit of space inside. It's accessible, it's usable. I really was looking forward to this shimmer navy because of this interior it was so fun with all the dots. I think we'll get a better look on the inside, but even the hardware is navy, which I think is cool. It has the side pockets, which are plenty big for water bottles, and they do have a magnet, kind of keep them closed when they're not in use. Of course, you have the foam pocket, which works just great. Bonk. Yeah, so all my other purse backpacks, like my um, Hadley backpacks and my small backpacks, all my Vera stuff, yeah, but they, they don't have a foam pocket. They have pockets you can use for phones, just not the same thing. Anyway. Nothing on the back, just the straps, but then you have a little carry handle. The straps are very generously sized. They fit me fine. We've seen that on video before. But now that I'm seeing this in this light, that is really a shimmer to it. If you haven't seen the shimmer fabrics, they have a slightly different texture. They're not quite as slicky as the regular nylon. 
And they also have just a little bit of a, a shimmer is a good way to say it. It's not glittery, but it's kind of, yeah, it's cool. I like it. And it's, it's not quite the same texture as the Heather either. It's not that soft, but it's just different. Anyway, inside, double zipper on top. And inside you have privacy pocket on the top and then a um, fleece lined cargo pocket beneath that. And that goes all the way to the bottom. And then on the front side, you have your clear pocket. And then below that, you have another two cargo pockets. And those ones are not lined. And so they're like top half clear, bottom half cargo. Now, the one thing I will say about this bag is if it was just a teeny bit taller or if the zippers went down just a teeny bit further, it would give you better access inside to, to those. But when you have stuff in it, like look, you have a good bit of space, it actually does open up fairly nicely. It's totally usable. I had concerns at first, but you know what? It worked out fine. But here's your, your dots. I think it's just fun. It's kind of a pinky, peachy, more peachy than pinky. White and black and dots on top of dots. It's fun. Anyway, we will get another look at this in the next video. Well, one of the next videos. Really, I have a couple things lined up. But we're going to look at the Mini Orbit and the Hatchback 3 side by side. So I will keep this out. And we will take a look at that because that was requested. Thanks, love nuts. All right, so now to the box. Now, I did disassemble the box and everything, but I got different tissue paper this time. It's, I love the teal color, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I got tissue paper. I got my envelope of goodies, and I got a pen and a notepad. Woohoo! Yeah, so I got cats. This is something I don't have. Oh, it says, have a perfect day. Perfect, perfect day, it says right there. So it has cats on the outside and then it has like these subdued ones like in the pad. And it's not lined, but hey, a pad. And a matching cat pen. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. They do have like two colors on the, the cats. There's like a pink and then like a peachy color, like a coral maybe. Anyway, this is, that's fun. I love getting things I don't have. And free is always good, so. All right, and then we got the catalog coloring book thing, and I think this one's the same, yeah, lemonade. I got lots of lemonade. Okay, then in the box, we got two more Splits XL. This is, in fact, if you haven't figured it out and uh, or heard me say it, this is my favorite log wallet, the Splits XL. It just, it's great. It's a wristlet. Um, it is removable wristlet strap, which is great. But it's, it's a good size wallet. I'm a big wallet girl. I have wallets of every size. I love them all, I use them all, but this one is my favorite. Okay, so let's look at them. I have, first of all, what do we get? We got Heather Indigo, which is like the deep blue, blue jeans, and it's the Heather material, which I really like. I think it's classy. And then I also got another Nada, which I also love this material in this wallet, the Slicky. So this is Stars and Shells Navy, and I'm happy I got a star. And I got some of the coral and the colors. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with the placement. You got the shell wrapping around the bottom and then you got more of, I kind of got all the colors. So the shell's kind of wrap around the bottom. But lots of stars, so I got a star in the front and a star in the back. But you can't see it very, very well, but this is a shell, it's a full shell right here too. So yeah, so I think some of these colors are just, just a little too subtle. Like there needs to be just a little bit more maybe white highlighting on the edge or, I don't know, because it just gets lost. This this shell is like half invisible against the navy. But I do love it anyway, I love the whole thing. So interior wise, this one has the light stripes and this is the clarity window, but yes, yeah, so you have a purple and a blue and like a greener, like a mint. Yeah, so it's very light in contrast to the dark outside. Oh, and there's more of a pattern. These pieces, as you can see, they stand out really well. Even the shell right here, compared to that one we just looked at on the outside. All right, but we don't need to see all of both of them. So let's look at, at this one. We got the interior pattern, which I do like. This pretty floral interior. So you have your card slots, you have the clear ID window, and then you have four more card slots. So there's your slots. 
You also have a slot behind, which is for me where I put my cash in that slot. You have your pen slot, and then you have your cell phone slot, and the phone does fit there. I have mine right here. And my 6S Plus with a case on it fits perfectly right in there. And it's not a tight fit. It's actually got a little extra room, so a bigger phone should fit probably pretty well as well. And then the other pocket is your like accordion wallet kind of thing. You got two big slots. You have six, nine, 18 card slots. That's a lot of card slots. And then you, you don't have a middle thing here, but you do have a coin slot on the outside. And this one, it is gusseted on the end, so you have room for a lot of coins. Or, because it does give you quite a bit of space in there, you can actually put other things in there too. Small thing, of course, but still. So, this, when it's all filled up with your stuff, is a great grab and go, got everything I need, and off you run. So, that is the Splits XL. How many do I have now? Hmm. I've got the camo orchid, I've got black, I've got heather gray, got these two, so maybe four? I thought I had five, maybe, I don't know, anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, so next one is the scoop in Tropical Fog. This is my second scoop, the first one was Dragonfly Purple. I really do like the scoop a lot, I think it's great for organization. I thought both when I bought them that They'd be great for organization within organization. So they're great as a purse by itself, which is great. I love the top handle. I love the grab and move it around or you know, carry it that way as well, even with the crossbody strap. But I also just love like, it's a great project bag or your planner organizer kind of thing, your Bible bag, your book club bag, you know, so many different things that you can do with it. Um, but I just kind of thought when I'm traveling, it might be a good travel organizer. You know, you got all these pockets, and we'll just open them up and then go through all of them. Because there's so many. There's one, two, three. I'm not gonna count the inside one. Four, five, front to back. So, front and back is kind of a mirror image. You, both sides have the small pocket on the front. Now, small is quite big, actually. The front one is fleece lined, so that is really your phone pocket. It's quite big, so your phone easily goes in there or your glasses or your, maybe even a mini iPad or something would fit in there. So that's your front and then the back is the same except it's nylon lined. This lining, by the way, is like a cream colored foulard. Yeah, sort of a tan, but not the same tan as the Heather. It's slightly like, it looks lighter and yellower. Anyway, whatever, it is. So your second pocket on the front nice big pocket it is pretty well sized it has a little bit of gusset on it so it has its own space it's not sharing space with the pocket in front or behind and it's just a plain pocket which i actually like about that i don't want a bunch of organization that you don't need i like having the option to put my own little organizing things in there personally this does have a built-in wallet so you have eight card slots on the front side four and four you have a zipper in the middle so you can put coins in there although it's quite a big slot, which the good news about that, you can pick your coins and actually see them when you want to get them out. There's no dollar slot though. So like, I think there should be like one big slot behind here and then you can put your dollars, you have your cards in front and you got your coins in the middle and then it could be a wallet. I personally think I would use a wallet in this bag anyway, so whatever. But you have two cargo pockets here. They are not fleece lined. They're nice little pockets though. And then you have space on either side of the divider, you have pretty good space there. In total, that pocket is really only about half an inch though. So you have half an inch, a third of an inch, and then you have just a little gusset on here. So they do get smaller going forward, but your main pocket is this next one. And this pocket you have, well, you have your removable, adjustable crossbody or shoulder strap. And you have two cargo pockets on the inner wall. And on the outer wall towards the back, you have your clear pocket. So that pocket is pretty much the entire wall of the bag, almost entirely. And that is great. So this is your main pocket. Oh, I'm dumping everything. Oh, Jessica. 
Okay, so this one, it's, it's quite large. You get an inch and a half, two inches back there. So that's the main part of the bag. For wallet, since we have it here, you got your splits XL, easily fits there. Easily also fits in, in front as well, in either side of this, so that is good. It can fit in this pocket as well. Ta-da. And just for giggles, let's look at this back pocket. And, okay, I think it does fit in here. You just have to maneuver it, yeah. I don't like to maneuver it that much, so it fits there just fine. Um, I just wouldn't put it there, probably. I really don't know. We'll tell you when I use it. So double zipper on the first front pocket and single zipper on the back main pocket. Actually, I would have liked to see double on both of those, but that's okay. Where's the, there it is. Yeah, so anyway, that's the scoop. The scoop on the scoop. Now, let's talk about this pattern because at first it's a kind of pattern that you know, it's kind of gray and neutral and whatever. Like, why did I start buying this pattern? But actually, I really kind of like it. I think it's subtly beautiful. It's got these palms on it, and they're all different colors, so it just kind of works. And I initially got the first piece was, I think, the flapper and then one or, one or two of the small wallets because that was what was available. You know, you go with what you got, but I wanted something that would match my Heather Grays that I was starting to acquire already. And I just kind of thought this would be a good blending piece because it goes with the grays, the tans, the, the blacks, the, you know, it, I mean, that's indigo, but still match enough. So you get the idea. So I just kind of wanted the blending and now I have a bunch of pieces. <laughs> okay, last log item for this haul. And this is one that I didn't know I wanted. And, and then I saw it and I kept seeing it and I thought it was sold out for a long time, but they just brought them back. So I got the Apollo tote. Um, I do love totes. I have a ton of Vero totes, um, but this is my first true and proper tote from Love, and it's just beautiful. I, I mean, I like the Heather Gray. I don't know what got me started on that. Well, I kind of do, but I started on this Heather Gray kick, but it's just, it's very elegant, I think. I think the Heather Gray is sort of a class up anyways, and then when you add this beautiful embroidery to it, it's just a nice looking bag, don't you think? I mean, I could dress that up. I could still be casual with it. I, yeah, totally. Okay. So the Apollo tote and Heather Gray. Um, yeah, that's all it says. Okay, so there's only one pocket on the front and it's a big phone pocket. We got the phone. And this one is one of those ones that's wide, but it's also kind of deep. So my phone fits in there sideways, no problem. And it only comes up to like here. So you still have a good inch or more, but it's not tall enough to put there that way. Now, in a tall bag like this, I don't understand that because I like that it's wide. It gives you the option, but why couldn't it also be deep? Well, maybe I think I just figured out the answer because the embroidery, no, because it goes behind that. Yeah, so that would be really cool Like because I tend to like vertical because why? I put it in heads down and then I grab it and my thumb's already on my little button and I can immediately do stuff. I guess you can, yeah, anyway, whatever. Just share my thoughts, they just fly out my mouth. Okay, so that's the front pocket. And the back, you have two pockets. I almost said three, but you really only have two. You have a zipper on the top. This is a nice pocket, it's, it's kind of small. It goes to about right here. And it's the width between the straps. So it's that big, can you see that, sorry. Strap, strap, and it goes to about right, where's my finger, right there. So it goes down a little bit, but it's plenty big for keys and you can put your phone in there. You just gotta maneuver it just slightly to get it through the zipper because the zipper area is slightly smaller than the pocket. It is lined. Let's see if it's tacked in. Not tacked in. Good news, bad news about that. I prefer them to be tacked in, but I guess if you spilled some crummy stuff in there, you could at least dump out your pocket. But there's a picture of your lining, which again, goes with my tropical fog. So how's that for a blending thing? Just like I said. Okay, all right. Then, second pocket is a big wide zipper and a big pocket. It goes all the way down to this last rung on the quilting here. So this is a nice horizontal stripey quilting and it is padded. So it goes down to right there. Not sure why it doesn't go all the way down, but it doesn't. That's fine. 
All right, and then when I first got it, I actually thought, well, that's cool. It has a slip pocket as well, which I thought was great. It's not. It's a trolley sleeve, which I like, even though this is not the bag I would typically travel with because I have other bigger bags and I overpack, and let's just be honest. <laughs> but this bag, I would love if it, I mean, because it's great that it has a trolley sleeve, but for those of us that don't really need a trolley sleeve or that don't always need a trolley sleeve, if it had a zipper here on the bottom, then it can be a trolley sleeve, but then it can also still be a glorious slip pocket because it's a great size. It's a great size for a nice slip pocket right there on the back. So that's my suggestion for that. Not that everybody needs to hear my suggestions, but these are my thoughts. Okay, zipper on the top, all the way up at the top rim of the bag. Inside, it's actually for lug, quite simple, but I like that. It has two cargo pockets on the back wall. They are both just plain, they're not lined. And then on the front wall, you have your big, oh, that's dead again, your big plastic pocket. And because it's nice, big bag, you have a nice big thing and it's one pocket all the way across. And I like that because I don't mind the ones that are divided, but again, I like to choose my own sub spacing and this allows me the maximum flexibility to do that. So I like that a lot about this bag. And then you have a really nice and wide, oh, it's bent, but um, a nice and wide removable adjustable strap for shoulder cross body. Okay, so you have all that and that's pretty much the bag, but let's, let's explore one other aspect here on the outside, the straps themselves. Okay, it is a double zipper on the top, by the way, which is really nice. So these straps, we didn't even talk about, glossed right over them. So it's a tote, so they have a nice good strap drop. It has the no slip grip all the way around on the top, which is great. So when you put it on your shoulder, it's not just gonna always be sliding off. Look how pretty this bag, it matches my outfit. How pretty and so if you want the feathers in the front then you go there if you want them in the back put it on your other shoulder so beautiful bag I'm really happy with this I just love this heather material it's so cool so my first Apollo probably my only one but it's beautiful all right so that's it for this haul coming up next will be um, a quick look at the hatchback and the mini orbit and then right behind that, there is a Vera haul. So Vera Bradley coming up. So thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. I know it's been about a week since I've been on here. It's been a kind of a busy week. It's not going anywhere, but it's still busy. And um, yeah, so I hope you're doing well everywhere. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. And washy washy. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.